Hello everybody, welcome back to 366 Days of Hope. My name is Pearl and I'm here to share our next topic. And to be perfectly honest, I've literally just jumped on here. I have no idea what the topic is going to be called, but eventually I'll come up with a title. Nonetheless, I really wanted to jump on here and talk about something I'm really passionate about because I'm seeing more and more of it and I'm being very, very disturbed about what I am seeing. And I just feel like I need to speak up on behalf of the women in my generation, the next generation, and the future generation. And this may end up causing me some flack for any of the women that are watching, and I'm really sorry. I have I personally have had to unfollow um, a couple of well-known um, in you know fitness influencers because of this. I've had to basically revamp my page um, slightly because of it. And this is my personal take. This is not, you know, um, me calling out on anybody specific, but this is something that I'm seeing is a, a trend. Now, I work in the fit fitness industry, so I definitely understand this sort of appeal to our outward appearance. You know, how we're supposed to look, what we're supposed to, you know, be as an idol. Uh, and the thing is, I don't want to be somebody's idol. I want to be a um, a role model, but I don't want to be someone's idol, you know? So one of the things that I've noticed is that we see all of these young influencers that are using their social media as a way of influencing the next generation or and or present generation towards a healthy lifestyle. But in doing so, they're also unveiling um, themselves to a point that it is visually distracting, let's put it that way. And personally for me, I have had to stop following a lot of accounts because I was starting to see that. Now I get it, you wanna show your progress, but I doubt that being in a thong or in lingerie is a way in which you need to show your progress. You can do that in a tank top, you can do that um, in a dress, maybe a dress that you couldn't fit in before, but now you fit flawlessly in. I mean, you could show these types of progresses without having to basically be naked in front of a screen. I'm sad that I feel like we're having women feel the need to be validated by revealing themselves all over social media. And the reality is, I know that in my earlier post as a personal trainer, I was wearing things that at least I look back and I'm like, ooh, maybe that's a little too revealing. And maybe to some people's perspective, you know, wearing those two pieces is not revealing. But down the road, I had to kind of think about, well, who am I trying to get attention from? Or am I trying to get attention from? Like, what's the reason why I'm wearing what I'm wearing? And personally, I've kind of gone down the road of like changing what it is that I'm wearing and how I'm you know, presenting myself. Because the reality is I personally got convicted and that's not everybody's conviction. I'm not saying that that has to be you, but I'm saying that's personally for me. I'm convicted that I need to respect myself, respect my husband, because I'm his and he's mine. I wouldn't want my husband revealing himself on social media. I wouldn't want um, him to, you know, take off his shirt. There was a, there was a, woman that I was following she um and she would post like and it was all hers was actually about clothing but then she would constantly have her husband quote undress himself and it always alluded to something sexual and and even though it was all about her clothing line I just stopped following this this person because I was just tired of constantly seeing that message be um, be pushed. And I get the concept, right? Because everyone talks about, oh, sex sells. But that shouldn't be what, what we want the criteria to be. We should be raising up a generation that thinks differently, that acts differently, that, that perceives um, a higher standard, you know? And I think that's so important. So if I want to influence the next generation and or even my generation, I need to set the stage for myself. And I feel like I need to share that you are royalty. And when you guys think about that, like personally for me, when I started to think about like me as 
as how God sees me, that he sees me as his daughter. And if he's the king of the universe, that makes me a princess. And if it makes me a princess, that makes me royalty. And if I'm a royalty, then there's a standard of how I behave. There's a standard in how I act. There's a standard in how I respect myself. Um, and I'll admit, I'm not perfect. I'm a goofball. <laughs> and for those that really know me, but I would say there is a standard in which you carry yourself, that you're not just going to you know, unveil everything to the world. And I think that it is so important to recognize that difference. And, and when you see yourself as royalty, like it makes you see yourself different because when you look at nobility, you look at the way they dress, you look at the way they behave and act, there is a certain conduct, an air about them. And I think that that's something that God wants for us. Like in Isaiah 62, um, three, it says, you, um, you will also be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. And when you think about that, you are royalty according to God. And so I want to encourage the next generation. I want to encourage this generation to look at themselves as queens and to not look at yourself as a queen in this, oh, I can do whatever I want. So I think that that's one of the things I really would like to encourage is to remind you, remind you where your validation truly comes from and who you really should be seeking that validation from. And it isn't from millions of people who don't know you and don't care about you. If you couldn't do that with the people who are in your sphere, I wouldn't do that to a bunch of people who don't know you. Because not only that, you're also inviting predators to get onto your site as well. And with the, with the internet, your location can be found just like that. And so it is crazy scary um, how easy you can be stalked online. Don't invite the crazies by putting off certain content that would only lead you down a road that you don't want to go down. And that's my encouragement to you guys. So please, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen too, please don't entertain those things as well. Block them, delete them, so that way you can keep yourself mentally pure and mentally strong um, and to be as righteous of a man as you can even in this day and age. Um, and also you ladies, be righteous women. May you live, thrive, and be healthy. Take care guys. Bye.